Now, one other thing I did want to say is whenever I spray anything that's at eye level or higher, I always do wear some sort of a mask or breathing protection, so. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hay, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So I'm not really sure how I ended up titling this video, but I'm really gonna show you today how to get rid of all of the bugs, all of the creepy crawly things all around your house from the top to the bottom, from the east to the west, all true to lawn, all true to garden, all true to the trees and shrubs everywhere. For me, the main target is mosquitoes. Uh, I have a real bad problem here in Florida with mosquitoes, so I'm gonna show you how to not only kill them, but keep them out, keep them away. I'm also gonna show you how to keep roaches out of your house. This will work for ants and fleas in the lawn as well as around the house. Pretty much all of the bugs. This is a great way to do your own DIY pest control around your entire home. Last year I did a similar video and I showed you how to use like stuff you could get at Home Depot and Lowe's. I'll link below to that. But this year I'm gonna show you how to use some, you know, what I would call professionally formulated products and a new one that I'm gonna try because I'm trying to get some extension out of the application, trying to get it to last longer and also trying to get it to control a broader spectrum of insects and bugs. Now before we go getting too crazy though, the number one thing that you can do to keep bugs, insects, mosquitoes, ants, fleas, all of that out of your house, from around your house and all of that is to clean up. Don't let anybody tell you these are the messiest palms. People have warned me about them and they didn't lie, they are definitely messy. Look at this, all of this stuff, this can harbor all kind of bugs underneath. Keep stuff cleaned up. By the way, I know a lot of you in the last video noticed my new pool cage. I'll do a video on that later. Not, not really on the pool cage itself, even though I'll show it. It's just, now that I have a cage there, I have to redirect some of the ways that I'm irrigating and stuff like that. We're gonna mess with some Eli hose reel, so I'll show you all that in a future video. But for sure, if mosquitoes are one of your targets, then one of the best ways to guard against mosquitoes is to screen everything in. It's also a very expensive way to do it, but either way, that's a whole other video that we'll talk about. I still do use the lawn out there quite often and all around, and so, Mosquitoes are still a concern for me because I like to be outside as much as possible. It's also a good time to do any pruning. These are bougainvillea, look at these things. Another super high maintenance viney thing. Anyway, but look at under here, man. This is just haven for insects and for standing water and moisture and everything else, so. Okay, there it is, all cleaned up more bugs back in there one thing i did want to say before you go too far in this video this is not the gluten-free non-gmo way to kill bugs this is using chemicals okay if you follow the label and you wear your ppe you should be all good you're only doing this a couple two three times a year you're not a pest control guy getting slathered in this every single day just keep that in mind it works and sometimes you do got to use a chemical to get the job done okay well there is uh, rain coming in so I may have to postpone this, but I can still do most of the background shooting and everything here, and then I'll just do the spraying and the praying later. So when I go to treat for bugs around the house, mosquitoes and that, I have kind of three primary areas that I look at. The first is the lawn space. The second is the landscape and landscaping spaces. And then the third is the structure. And there's a little bit different application technique for each one of those, but the products that we use are the same. So let me go now and show you the professionally formulated products I'm gonna use, and I'm even gonna break down the cost for you. Hey y'all, okay, so today's Sunday. I'm in the middle of doing the edit here, and I just wanted to say one thing. The products that I'm using in this video, again, none of this is sponsored. I probably shouldn't have to say that because I always do tell you when things are sponsored. This is not sponsored. This is stuff that I purchased. And uh, I'm gonna send out details on the actual products in an email this Tuesday. Like I go into all the active ingredients, what they're good for, what they're used for, what they do and why. It's a really long email. I've actually already written it. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's just really good detail and fun stuff all about the products that I'm using here for DIY pest control. And if you get here late and you're not on the email list, by the way, if you wanna be on the email list, sign up below. But if you get here late and you missed it or whatever, we'll also turn it into a blog post and I'll link that below for you. So I just wanna let you know, tons more details there in writing for you. And that way you can kind of dig in and learn a little bit more about these products and why I'm using them. Now, before we go getting too crazy with all the spraying and the praying, I wanted to show you something I kind of discovered that should have been obvious to me, but it wasn't. And that is getting rid of the cobwebs that get up and around in the uh, corners of like your porch or whatever. In the past, I would always crawl up on a tall ladder and use a broom and knock them down. Super dangerous, right? And I actually found this new way to do it that is super easy and it works awesome. And I wanted to show you that first because before I did anything, I got rid of all the cobwebs. Okay, now before we get going on all the spraying and the praying and all that, 
I wanted to show you one quick tip, and I don't know if all of you around the country have this challenge, but for sure in Florida we do. And when you have areas like this, you're gonna get spider webs all up around the edges. And I'll get up there and show you. They're not too bad right now because I've been trying to keep them cleaned out. But the spider webs get all up in there and it just becomes a real pain. And I don't even really burn any lights out here or anything, because that's what they'll do. They'll collect around lights. But I have one light that lights up my flag right here at night. And because of that, there's spiders everywhere. Because obviously they're there catching opportunistic, catching whatever flying bugs are attracted to that light that lights up that flag right there. So I've tried different things in the past. I've tried pressure washing up there. It doesn't work. Plus that's drywall up there. And so you don't want to pressure wash that. It'll, it'll over time, it'll break it down. So I've got up, gone up there with brooms and everything. But what happens is it's a pain, first of all, to climb up there on a ladder with a broom. But then secondly, the spiders just jump away and then they crawl back up there later. At least that's what it seems like. So I've seen pest control companies doing this and so I figured I would try it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you as a tip right now. So this is what they use. And you can get these on Amazon. I'll link it below. This is called a Webster. I mean, it's nothing new. I've seen these before, but I never, for some reason, just never thought about it. And basically, you're just gonna put that up there in the cracks and the crevices. But again, if you just knock them down, it's not a, you know they can come back they can you know itsy bitsy spider crawls up the water spout kind of deal so what you do is you get this this here micro care cs and you spray this on the webster and then you wipe and so it kills all of the spiders while you're wiping them away at the same time at least that's the idea plus if any of them do stick in that and you take that back in your garage you know, you don't want to take live spiders back in your garage, do you? It's bad enough that all those beanie babies you've been collecting are full of spider eggs in your closet. You know that's true, too. So here's what I'll tell you about this thing. The head of the Webster works great. It's stout, it wipes away all the junk, really good. But the poles that they send with it, garbage. And I actually bought what I thought was a three pole extension, but it wasn't, it was three separate. So the, the poles that this one came with are entirely too short. So I'll try to link below and find one that has longer poles, especially if you have to get up in tall areas like that. But the poles are garbage, but I do highly recommend these heads. That's what she said. Okay, now I know some of you are gonna ask for a link to that product. Listen, I don't know what's going on. I went back and looked at the listing that I actually bought that from and it is completely changed now. So there's some sort of Amazon shenanigans going on with that seller. So just look for your own Webster. I'm sure all of these things work just fine. It's really the, the pole that you want. You know, you want at least a 19 or 20 foot pole. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on now and uh, let's go into the actual rest of the spraying all around the yard, the, the structure, the trees and shrubs, all of that. And there's where I'm gonna use the professionally formulated products. And I use the same products and the same mix for all of the different application methods. All right, so here's the two products we're gonna use. And you got a little bit of math you gotta do when you mix two together. But again, this is using professional, professionally formulated products. So the first we're gonna use is familiar Bifen IT. This is Bifenthrin. It's the 7.9% formulation. You can get stronger or higher concentrations of this, but this is fine and it's inexpensive and it's gonna work for most pests around your house, including not just nuisance pests like we're going after here, but also damaging pests. And then we're gonna use this. This is new to me and this is my first time using it, but I've talked to a few people who have said this is an excellent additive. This is an insect growth regulator called Teco Pro. The idea here is, is that the Bifen will kill whatever it comes in contact with and then the teco will remain as a residual and it's going to do two things number one is any adults that are missed it's going to make them sterile so they can't reproduce and then the other thing is any babies or small insects that are or eggs that are currently present it will keep them from growing into adults so that's why you add the teco so it's it's literally two modes of action 
is how we might say it with weed control. And again, I'm not a pest expert, so I have done my best to read the labels here though to make sure that I'm telling you right. So I was a licensed pesticide applicator in Illinois and Indiana for several years. And what you'll find is, is that pest control and lawn care applications are close cousins. And in fact, at least in Indiana, Illinois, the basic license to be an applicator is the same for pest and lawn. It's just the specialties are different. So I'm gonna do my best though to tell you what I've learned from reading these labels, but it's your job to read the label of the product that you have and interpret it for yourself. I am not telling you that this is the best way or the only way to do this. What I'm telling you is, is from me reading the labels and interpreting and doing the best I can, this is what I think is the proper way to apply these products to your house, to your lawn, to your bushes and trees in order to stop these invading pests. And so I'm gonna just give you one quick tip that will save your life. I actually do like to read the actual labels and you'll see that I make notes in here when I read them and I write and scribble all over them because it helps me to learn and then I do record things in a journal. Now I have my app, but when I'm just doing my scribbling, I need to put stuff on paper here um, and then put it in my app once the application is made. But I wanted to show you something quick because sometimes it can get a little confusing reading all this fine print. So what you can do is download the label. This is Bifen IT. Make sure it's the same exact product that you have, download it, and then what you can do is you can hit, in my case I have a Mac, Control F, which is a search feature in a PDF, and you go up here, and you can search on a web page too, and like I'll type in, like right up here, I'll type in mist, because I wanted to see if I could use a mist fogger or a mister for this. And what that'll do is, it'll tell you all the places where that word appears inside this PDF. See it coming up there? And then you can see right here. So that says avoid breathing spray mist. But if you keep going through the different examples, you'll see here right there, mist blowers. See that? So I was able to find out, apply. This is under, let's see, mosquitoes probably. Yeah, see, mosquito control right there. That says mosquito control. And then all I'm doing is I'm using my arrows to go down and find the different places where the word mist shows up, see that? And you can see, so under mosquito control, it's gonna tell me all the different you know, places you can apply and what rates to use and all that. But look, apply with handheld and backpack sprayers or mist blowers, right? So you can use a mist blower. And that was the main thing I wanted to find is, can I use a mist blower or a mister to apply this product? Because I've never used that before. I've always used a hand can and hand can is in there too. So that's one way to just search a label, pick a keyword out do control F or command F is what I do on a Mac. Either way, you search through the document and you look for those words and then you read around them. You read the paragraphs before and the paragraphs after. And that's a quick way to get through a label and understand if you're actually applying the product right. Okay, now that all the lawn spaces are done, the next thing I'm gonna do is around my house, the foundation of the house, and up into all the cracks and crevices. You saw we already cleared all the spiders out up through there, but now I'm gonna spray, spray all around the windows and doors and this, and I can spray three feet up and three feet out, and I can even go down through the beds and everywhere. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Mixed rate is exactly the same as it was for the lawn. And you know, you're gonna have to estimate a thousand square feet of spray space. There is a way to do it. I've done videos on that before. Basically you can measure square footage. You measure three feet up and three feet out and then measure the length and you can get the square footage, but just get a good soaking on it. That's really what you want. You just wanna get everything well soaked all the way up and all the way down. Now I'm also gonna spray 
I guess what you'd call the eaves or the higher areas up over by there. And this flood tip doesn't do well for that. It does great for the ground applications. But every one of you that has a sprayer, you will have one of these that came with it. This is what you use to get up high. I'm only, I'm only gonna mix a gallon for this because it won't take as much to do all up there. Now for this portion where I'm spraying all around the trees and the shrubs and the landscape underneath the plants and all of that over by there, in the past what I would have used is a hose end sprayer and I've showed you that before. But these misters now are becoming kind of a big deal and I actually had two of them here. I had a professional one that was sent to me last year and then I have this new one called the Mosquito Sniper that was also sent to me. So these two products that you're about to see, these were sent to me for free. I didn't pay for them and now I'm gonna go ahead and give you an honest review of each one. Now, if your target is mosquitoes, and for a lot of you, that is gonna be a target, they're a major nuisance pest, then you may wanna consider getting one of these mist fogger sprayers. And I've seen these coming into popularity in the DIY marketplace over the last couple years. However, these professional models like this one here can run you close to $500. In fact, this one is $499. They sent me this last year, this company Petra. I never had a chance to use it, so we're gonna try it out today. But there's a new solution that's just come up and it's a, a guy and his wife, they invented this and they're out of Illinois over by there. And it's the Mosquito Sniper System and it works in a similar way, except this is like 35 bucks. And then you just retrofit it onto a cheap pump sprayer like this and then use your current, oh, I can't lift it and then just use your current blower that you have. So we're gonna look at both of those solutions together too because this was something that pro probably most of us would not have paid $500 in the past. But if this works just as well and allows you to spray up into your bushes and trees over by there, get rid of the mosquitoes, it might be worth a look. So this is a professional version. This was sent to me. And uh, I actually think they have these in battery powered now because you actually have to plug this in. So $400 I think it is. To plug it in, forget it. I'm not gonna be tethered to a cord for $400, but I think they make them in uh, battery powered now. But either way, pretty expensive, but since they sent it to me, we're gonna go ahead and try it. And then we're gonna put it up against the $35 Mosquito Sniper, which hooks onto your blower. So before I put any Kims in it, I'm just gonna try it with water. Just see how it does. I don't wanna waste the Kims if I end up not liking it. For sure, if you filled this all the way, you'd want to have this in an elevated position to mount it on your back easier. But since we're just doing this little test, not a problem. Okay. Here we go. Let's go tether ourselves up to some electricity. The on deck. All right, so not gonna lie, that is really flipping cool. <laughs> uh, it sounds like a giant vacuum cleaner, but man, it's it's kind of in between a mist and a fog almost. So let's put some chemical in this and kill some bugs. Now, I'm tethered to a 25 foot cord. Suppose I could put a longer one on, but I'm just gonna put enough in to do this section right in through here. This is pretty, you can see pretty heavy foliage in through here. So let's spray and pray, literally. Pretty cool. Four hundred dollars be up to you, but wow. Using the same fill rates, it's gonna do two gallons, so I should be able to get two thousand square feet out of it, which is pretty much this entire front here. Right, all the trees, all the shrubs. Well, they're mostly shrubs, but you know what I'm saying over there.
Okay, so here's what I'll say about that thing. Um, it's super cool, and uh, I think it works really well, but I think for a DIYer, we do this twice a year. Probably not worth the investment. But I'll tell you what, if you're somebody that has to spray like disinfectants at a school, which I think is what a lot of these are being used for, like you spray disinfectant spray across church pews or at schools or things like that, this thing will be awesome for that. And I think that's what they're selling a lot of these for these days, so pretty cool. Now let's look at the DIY version, the Mosquito Sniper that is quite a bit cheaper and really made for us. So you pretty much just set the sprayer up like you normally would. Then this is your Mosquito Sniper system. This is the business end right here. And this end here hooks on to the handle for the pump sprayer, you see that? Get your blower, and all that you do is this right here hangs down in front of the stream. And you can even adjust this, like you can take this thing, I'm gonna do that, and you can put it on the lower setting here. So it, you, may, you, want, it, you want it to be in the middle of your blower so if your hole is larger you use the lower setting and if you have some you know some blowers they're they're not round here they're more of a whatever rectangle so then you can move it up but you want it to be definitely dead center of the blower output seems good i think we're ready to go we'll test it with a little water and then we're going to go spray and pray this is just water so i'm going to test it in the same area i already sprayed because again just water and then I'll actually do some real spraying in a minute. Okay, so for sure, if you ask me, does that Mosquito Sniper work? Yeah, it works great. Is it worth 34, 39 bucks or whatever? Plus the cost of the uh, cheap pump sprayer? Yeah, for sure it is. And uh, you can definitely cover a lot of ground underneath places you couldn't reach with other means with that. So pretty cool when somebody invents something like that. I'll give you links below. They're not affiliate links, nothing. I mean, they sent me a $35 contraption for free if you want to call that sponsored. But other than that, definitely a good buy. And, uh, I highly recommend it. All right, so there you go, guys. There's everything I got for you this weekend. By the way, if you've been hearing like uh, what sounds to be like gunshots in the background, what that is is like half the people in this neighborhood are getting new roofs. Uh, these companies, they come by and they, they find hurricane damage on people's roofs and everybody gets a free roof from their insurance company and all that. I, I will not be partaking in that, but that's what you're hearing. Everybody in our neighborhood is, is partaking in that at this point, it seems like. But anyway, 
The long and the short of it is those are not gunshots. But back to that mosquito sniper. Seriously, I think that thing is awesome. And you can adjust it so that it does get more of a mist. I just like the little bit harder of a, of a spray there. But I'm really excited about that. Whenever somebody invents something new like that, like in their house and, and solves a problem, I just, I love getting behind that. So definitely check that out. Tons of links below to all the other stuff. And I hope this video has been helpful to you. I promise you, overall, if you do this, I mean, this is a lot of spraying and a lot of praying, but it delivers on what I told you. It's gonna kill all of the bugs around your house. So with that, I'm Alan Hayne, The Lawn Care Nut. Hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the lawn. Oh, almost forgot, brand new podcast is up. I will link that below as well as I now segment out the podcast on another channel called LCN Just Lawn Tips. I'll link that below too for those of you who don't wanna to listen to the entire podcast, but you like the segments. And so with that, hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the lawn. Yeah.